Hi everyone, my name is Angela. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm quite excited to give a review of a math product. It's for it's math for gaming fans, and I have firstly done this with my own child, and it was just a delight. So there are two books. You're going to have the blue book, which is the first book, and I would say it is about grade two or finishing up grade two. And then you're going to have the, the second book, which is this Roblox book. And um, it is a British, it's from a British curriculum. So what they do is they start earlier than here in South Africa. So you might find that the age grouping that they're suggesting is a bit earlier than what we would have. And they also talk about year three, which is actually our grade two. But with homeschooling, you are not confined to age and grades. I would really say it is really to like consolidate your foundation phase. And you know, if you are if you've got a child who's 10 and you would like to just make sure that your, your foundations are laid well, then this can also be used like um, as an assessment or as a, a summary of what they should know. And it is very light, it is fun. And when my son did it, he literally had a smile on throughout the book because although he had just started really with Roblox, he still recognized some of the characters or the games. And it was just a lovely surprise for him to say, oh, I know this. I mean, I personally didn't know it, but he knew it. So it was also, I think, you know, he had one up on mom. Okay, so here we are. Here we have the two books. I'm going to look at uh, the first book. Now, so um, you'll see it says um, 10 to 8 years. So here you have the contents, and then there, there is the rest of it. And I'd rather be gaming. <laughs> okay, so this is my own book that I use, so it has been written in, but I thought I'd just let you a bit of a page through. So we've got number and place value. And everything is uh, color coded. So when there's a new section, uh, you go onto something else. It's a different color, addition, and subtraction. So this is what you're looking at about this level, and it is relating to to themes and characters and games in Roblox. Okay, so we got, then we go on to uh, multiplication. Just so you can get an idea of the level and something like in Adopt Me, Unicorn Love 22 is decorating their house in Adopt Me. Pink Unicorn Wards cost three Robux each. How many Robux would they spend if they bought the number of walls listed below? Okay, so it's that calculation, multiplication. Then we go on to division and just to give an idea so it's all word sums and um, but in a nice context and they all they're keen to find out because there's always anticipation and a bit of tension because they want to see either who won or how much roadbox they're left with and um, then we go on to fractions some measurement we've got a bit of money so here it's we're dealing with pounds and pennies and i kept it in that sense but then i also reverted it uh, to south africa rands and cents when it seemed applicable it's really about the math content not really about the money um, that gets used so there you see we just made it into rands then you had roman numerals this is just the beginning which was a very nice way to start in the second book they um, they carry on a bit more advanced. And here we got geometry, a bit of shapes and statistics, a bit of doing some graphs, and and then that's it. And then you then you have the, the, the answer section, which you don't have to print out if you um, if you don't, you know, and you can just look online for the answers if it's needed. And um, so this is the second book, 
which which uh, pulled on from from there. There you can see the contents. And moving down a little bit more than the first book. Okay, and place values. You can just have a look at the type. Work at a pizza place. And um, yeah, so they have to, there's always like a bit of anticipation and games involved. This is your count and multiples. Here's the Roman numerals, which is really going from one to a hundred. It's just at one page, really. So that was quite fun. And then we've got our shapes, your angles and coordinates, and your multiplication about this level. And let's just see. So okay, there's yeah, so this is about the you know the sums that are left. You've got your time and also the money, the measurements, liters to milliliters, which is quite nice because sometimes with the if you're using overseas curriculum, if it's with American, then it's a little bit tricky. But here with because it's British, we keep with the kilometers and meters and millimeters and some more statistics. Let's just have a look at that. This tally chart shows the number of SWAT game passes purchased by jailbreak from Friday to Sunday. Complete the chart. And then how many more, how many fewer, how many passes were sold in total. So something like that. Some more statistics. And we've got working out the area and the perimeter. So that comes in as well as the fractions and the deci decimals. Okay, so and it gives you a place where you can work things out or you can use a book on the side. This is the type of fractions you're busy with. Yeah, so that's okay, some bit of working out. I think we used maybe in the book somewhere. We can work those out. And um, and then you this starts with this type of division, just basic size. So that's it. Um, it is we really enjoyed it. It goes quickly. It's like a summary of skills, and um, I can highly recommend it. So there you have it. If you are interested in in getting a copy for yourself, uh, I've left a link in the description where you can go to and just download your own. Uh, copy and then you can print at home and um, you are welcome to use within your immediate family these books haven't got a copyright to them so please don't distribute as a lot of hard work went into um, writing these wonderful math workbooks if you are new to this channel and you are starting homeschooling or you are in the middle of it and maybe you're finding things a, a little bit of a battle or you're needing some some insight you're welcome to have a look at my other videos on how to start homeschooling and just generally how to handle this foundation phase for the, the beginning of schooling so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye